everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is Tuesday, the 11th of December, 2018. Uh, it's an uh, overcast day outside today. It's like 28 degrees, so it's not exactly toasty warm. So I figure I'm going to sit here by this nice fire. we got water on. Heather's going to have some hot chocolate, and I'm going to have some tea. And we're going to figure I'd sit down and make this video for you. I uh, was watching... And paying attention to what's happening overseas and uh, the fact that uh, you know the protests in France are still going and uh, their Prime Minister which I laughed who basically was like in hiding for days on end you didn't hear anything uh, all of a sudden he comes out with his whole compromises that they're gonna raise the uh, minimum wage by 100 euros a month for people and uh, they're also gonna not tax the retired people make it under 2,000 euros a month or something like that. And it's like, you know, I, I think that, uh, and then it's the whole immigration thing that's going on where uh, Europe itself in total has been just inundated with uh, foreigners. And, uh, you know, it, it, and here's, here's the thing is, it's like, I, I don't have a problem with helping people, with anybody, as far as if they need help and they legitimately need help. But what's going on over in Europe right now is not a, uh, you know, a lot of these people that are coming over there are a, a lot of the Arab people, if you will, uh, from the, you know, middle, from the Middle East. They don't want to assimilate to the countries that they're going into. They want those countries to assimilate to them. So they want their crazy Sharia law and all these other things. They, they want people to change what they're doing to assimilate to what the, their beliefs are, which is not how it works. When you come to somebody else's, it, it'd be like me going to, um, to uh, Montreal, Canada, for an example, okay? And uh, a lot of French-speaking people up in Montreal. And it's like me going up there as an immigrant, and uh, I've decided to become a Canadian citizen and all of a sudden, I'm like, you know, listen, you can't, you can't speak French anymore. I, that's not acceptable. You need to change that and just speak English. I mean, that's ridiculous. You know what I mean? It's what they've done. It's what they do. It's you know, uh, a lot of the people are bilingual up in that part of the country, but a lot of people speak French because Montreal is a French-speaking city. So, it's uh, hello. Um, so it's just it, it's. Uh, it's crazy, and uh, but these people are coming over there, over to Europe, and uh, you know they're bringing their third world thinking into you know a, a modern area of the world, and uh, it, it's just um, I know that there's been a lot of rapes, there's been a lot, you know, a lot, a lot of crazy stuff going on. Right now in Germany, yesterday they were protesting. There's a huge protest in Germany about the immigration problem in their country. See, the, the reason that he's called the White Devil is because he is just, he's a psycho. Aren't you? Yes, you are. And he plays very, very rough. I showed you my scarred up hand here yesterday. Hey, hey, hey. I, I like that leg the way it is. Okay, that's it. Okay, now you get out like this. When I hold, see, when I hold him with this, he can't hurt me. Yeah, you cannot do it. So, anyway, uh, protests in France are continuing. Uh, you know, people are not, you know, he's trying to placate, or, uh, not placate, what am I thinking? Uh, the word. He's trying to give them a little bit so that they stop. But I think people are past that point of accepting a little bit with the way things are going. Uh, even here in the United States, I mean, if you, you look all through Europe, the middle class, if you will, have been taxed to death to the point where people just can't do it anymore. And, uh, you know, it, it's, it's, it's happening here in America, it's happening in Europe, and uh, they just want to take and take and take. And then, you know, then they have the police out there, you know, writing tickets, just looking for any reason to pull people over to give them a ticket, you know, and that, and that's unfortunate too, that's not their role, you know, that, I mean, I was out, oh, over the weekend, and, uh, there's a, when we go to take the kids to, when I take the kids to their moms, 
we go by a, uh, a rest area. Well, what they'll do is they'll put up the, uh, a flag like a half mile or a mile away saying all trucks must stop and they set up the inspection thing for all the trucks. So they're just looking to give all these, all these uh, truck drivers tickets for whatever, for whatever reasons. And, uh, you know, there was, I, I remember as we drove by, I counted, there was at least 12 police vehicles in that parking lot, state troopers. And then they had a couple of truckers that didn't stop pulled over down the road. I mean, it's just, it, it's, it's crazy, you know. It's like anything that they can do to make revenue. And then at the number of people that I see pulled over on the highway constantly, it's just, you know, it's, it's nuts. You know, and, and it's all about revenue. It's not about safety, guys. I don't care, you know, hey, listen, somebody's doing 80 and it's two lanes. You don't want to go 80? Get, get in the inside lane. Let them go. I don't care. I generally do about 72, 73 miles an hour, and I still have people pass me like crazy. When I see them coming up behind me, I get over and let them go. You know, good, you know, because I look, I look at it like this. If they're going faster than I am, they're the one that's going to get the ticket, not me. But I generally, if a cop is there on the side of the road with his radar, and I'm doing 72, I don't even slow down. And it's 65 mile an hour zone, so... Uh, they, you know, they generally are not going to stop you for that. I, I've never been stopped doing 72 and 50, 65. Um, if I'm in a 55, I generally do 65. It's just what I've always done. I've had cops pass me in those zones while I was going that fast. So, um, you know, they generally they'll look over at you and I just give them a nod, you know. So, but anyway, there's a lot of craziness still going on. I think Europeans that are there. Oh, big package. We got a package in the mail. We're going to have to look and see what that is. I was looking because I could hear the lady. That's what a mail lady was delivering? I guess. What do we got here? It's a big package. I don't know. I was actually going to check on the dog's house, and I was like, oh. Where was the mail, she said? In the box. Oh, okay. Um, well, make sure that she's not, the dogs aren't messing with that lady. All right, well, now we're going to have to see what this package is that came. I believe I know who this is from. I think. Let's see. And here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's just a male lady. I believe she's a little thing on the top of her. Yeah. You got the sister right there? Okay, yeah, that'll work on Thank you. I mean, I'm sure she went. Thank you. Um, I know Brian, one of my guys in my group said that he was sending something and he said it's a surprise so I'm like okay so then I go when he said it's a surprise I go well what is it and he <laughs> goes well if I told you it's not a surprise then so it's yellow it's yellow thank you Heather yes Heather is making a cute observation very very cute observation there thank you I don't know if I would have been able to ascertain that if I hadn't seen that for myself Maybe somebody watching is colorblind, I don't know. They, they could be. I don't know what this is. Let's see. Faraday cage thing? 20 gallon. Yeah. yeah. Alright, cool. So, oh, we... people can't even see it. Uh huh. He was talking about these. They have uh, Eagle Manufacturing Company. Uh, they're in West Virginia. This is uh, a 20 gallon capacity. They have 30 gallon capacity. They have 55 gallon capacity, 65 gallon capacity, and 95 gallon capacity. So there's the, the lid. So you can see that's got the rubber the rubber seal and I already got one of the castles in there. So and then I'll show you this here. Very, very heavy duty uh, plastic container. So yeah, that's cool. Yeah, so guess what'll happen to that in the spring? <laughs> <laughs> that might get buried. You never know. So very cool. But uh, with that seal, 
like that. I like that because that will, once you put this lid back on there, yeah, so there you go, see, so that's a good storage thing for uh, a nice cache. So sorry about the distraction guys, let me just turn this back up here a little bit. So anyway, man, this fire's warm. It's fantastic. I was chilled today for some reason. I don't know why. Anyway, uh, a lot of crazy stuff. Europeans have had enough. I can't blame them with this mass immigration that they've allowed all these. And I, I don't want it. It sounds terrible to say subpar human beings, but it's a, a lot of uneducated people coming into their country with third world thinking, I guess is probably the better way to say it, where, you know, they, they think it's okay, again, as we talked the other day, having eight, nine kids and thinking nothing of it because somebody else is going to take care of them and they're not going to be responsible for it, so why do well, they don't care? You know, they come into these countries and they just drain the systems of these countries, you know, for free, free health care, free, you know, medical, free food, free housing, and, uh, you know, and, you know, Europeans are very, very giving people, and they want to help, but there's only, it comes to a point, okay? You, you come to a breaking point. The same thing in the United States. Our, our system is just absolutely taxed to the max, and, uh, you know, there's only so much you can do. I mean, how many people can you truly help, you know what I mean? And it's like, I know some people want to help everybody, everybody, which, you know, it, that's admirable. But you can't help people that won't help themselves. Remember that. That's kind of important. If you came here and you're willing to work and you're willing to work hard, and, you know, I don't have a problem with anybody doing that. You know, I mean, I'm going to tell you what. The Asian folks will come over here, on, and I've seen it over and over again. And, uh, you know, they'll have a family-owned restaurant, and they all live in the same freaking house, and they will pay that house off in no time, and then they buy the second house, you know, and that's how they do it. And that's smart. I mean, that's smart. I mean, I, 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 and, and a lot of, like I said, in the Asian culture has a lot of respect for their elderly, which I totally respect that. I mean, I, as being in the medical field for as long as I've been, that's a huge, huge thing for me because uh, in 29 years of nursing, I saw one Asian person in a nursing home in 29 years, and that person's family was there every day, every day. I've been in a lot of nursing homes where the families came twice a year, Christmas and Easter, put on the big show like they gave a crap and then you didn't see them the rest of the time. Hated those people. I mean, truly, just they disgusted me. I, don't, I can't say I hated them, they just disgusted me. Because they would put on the show like they actually cared, and it's the only time they ever showed up. So, it, it just, you know, it is what it is as far as that goes. But, Europeans have had enough. They're in the streets of protesting. Uh, France has been a lot of major protesting, a lot of people injured, a lot of stuff going on with that. I've got a kitty in there. Very naughty puppies. Uh oh. All the way down. Oh no. All right. So, here all. Merry Christmas. Can the garbage over there? No. No, I, I give it to me. I can't. I'm just giving it to Yeah, I'm like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this. You're supposed to keep it and hold on to it. Anyway, so, good news. We should know. This is probably. Yeah, this looks like it's boiling, honey. Here. Oh, I gotta rinse off my cup first. Well, it's hot. It's ready to go. Can you Here, take, take, it by the, take, it by the, take it by the pot. Don't know. No, not by the handle. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, um, good news. We should know within two days. Heather has applied for early acceptance to a early college. Early admission. Early admission to a college. Um, I had to sign the paper saying, yes, I knew she wanted to go to this college because if she is accepted, that is where she's going to be going to college. So we will know in two days, and I guess it's like 8 o'clock at night, and we'll find out. Because they want to torture us. They want to, yeah, make even wait longer on that day. But, uh, so hopefully she gets in there, and then if she gets in, then we will know where she's going to go to college. And uh, that's like a huge thing, relief, you know, and stuff like that. So, We're not going to say a name in case there's some creepy stalkers. Well, we won't say, yeah, we, well, we might say it down the road, but we won't say it right away. But, uh, so anyway, so she's hopefully uh, going to get in there. Just bang that and knock that around. No problem. All right. It's my pleasure. I'm sure it is. Where are we at time-wise? What is that saying? 
has 13 minutes and 11 seconds. Oh my goodness, I'm like long-winded once again today. Guys, I apologize. I get on a roll and I get talking. So I'm going to go ahead and jump off of here because we actually have to go to a dinner this evening. So um, I will speak with you all tomorrow. Remember, guys, we are all in this together. And when I say that, I what I mean is the more we help each other out, get prepped, get ready, the less people you're going to have coming after your stuff. I mean, and that's the reality of it, okay? Uh, people around the world prepping as well. Um, I know I have a lot of followers in the UK, Sweden, Germany, uh, Australia. <clears throat> you know, it's... Uh, with the whole immigration thing, guys, enough is enough. Let's let some of these other uh, Arab countries take these people in. They don't, they don't like our laws. They don't like the way we live our lives. Why do they want to be here? That would be my thing. Uh, you go up to Dearborn, Michigan, and it's like going to a whole other country now, unfortunately. So, Do you go to Michigan a lot recently? I have a lot. There's a lot of information out there on it, Heather. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, anyway. This is sarcastic. She, she's getting beaten after this video is over with. So. You can tell she's very browbeaten and scared. I'll have everyone know we're taking a test today in government. My political lining is far left, like right in the middle of the left. All the way to the side. My one thing was like socialism. I was like, great. I'm sure you'd be thrilled to hear that. You don't like socialism. Tell me you don't. I like. Tell me. I don't know what I like. Huh? I don't know what I like. Well, I, I hope it wouldn't be socialism because that's like the worst freaking thing. Because it, it's worked so well. Yeah. It's worked so well. Ask, ask uh, the people that Stalin killed, the 20 million plus. In the gulags? In the gulags, yeah. Cause they Woo, I want to go to a gulag. Yeah, you, well, I'm you probably kidding. would, yeah. I probably would. You'll You're going to send me there? You'll be Comrade Heather. Did you see that? I know, it's, it rolled right out. We are so, being okay, distracted. So, okay, I'm rolling out here. Stop. Don't, don't. <laughs> Now you're going to get beat twice. Now, now I'm going to use a piece of, like this. I'm just going to beat her with this. And guys, please know I'm only kidding. Okay? You know, I don't beat on my daughter. So anyway, <laughs> hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow's not guaranteed. I apologize. I do. I'm sorry. You're getting all silly. I am. Silly day. And uh, you remember, guys, STD. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, one day at a time. If I'm a communist, then we would all have to get beatings. That's right. We'll get beaten <laughs> equally. Nice. So, anyway, um, have a great day. I will see you all tomorrow. Prepper Nurse 1, out for now.